Officer Brandon with the CHP Recruitment Unit. I have a question for you today. Have you ever watched one of those crime scene investigation TV shows and thought, wow, I would love to do this? If the answer is yes, you're in luck. CHP has a team that does some pretty extensive scene investigations. Not only am I gonna tell you about it, I'm gonna show you, follow me. today is Officer Bowen from Valley Division MATE. Officer Bowen, what does MATE stand for? What do you guys do? Alright, MATE stands for Multidisciplinary Accident Investigation Team. Um, our primary responsibility is we're a resource to um, local CHP area offices and allied agencies and we're called upon to come out and process some of these uh, more major uh, either crash or crime scenes. What does the training entail? So after completion of the basic academy course and getting crash investigation there, you're going to go through the intermediate crash investigation course, which is 40 hours. Uh, you'll go through the advanced crash investigation course, and that's uh, additional 80 hours. Then you're going to go and um, take the TCR pretest, and that's just to see if you can uh, meet the minimum standards to go through the uh, TCR training program. So there's a good amount of training that goes into this. There's quite a bit of training, yes. So what is the TCR series then? Uh, so the traffic crash reconstruction series that's going to consist of math and physics. Uh, you're going to go through the traffic crash reconstruction course. So for the audience, a question that I'm thinking as well, do you need to be a math whiz to be a part of this? Uh, you don't need to be a math whiz. However, you got to have a good strong uh, background or foundation in, in basic math. I noticed a lot of different personnel on scene. Does everybody have their own task that they're assigned here? Um, yeah, so everyone will have some role or responsibility and uh, some sort of technology or tool or device that they're going to use to document or measure um, or possibly collect evidence at the crash or a crime scene. So what do we have here? Can you tell us about this? Uh, yes, this is uh, one of our latest additions to the mini tools that we use. Uh, this is essentially our flying camera. Uh, this has the ability to take uh, hundreds of pictures overhead. We can use those images and recreate the scene using a uh, software program and it creates what's called an orthro mosaic image. And it's just essentially a photographic map of the scene. So it gives you that complete aerial view. Yes, it does. So what are these things we have here and what do they do? Uh, so this is another measuring device that we have. Uh, this is called the Total Station Survey System. It's essentially a big fancy measuring tape. So we're able to set this up uh, using the uh, rod and prism. We can take measurements of the scene uh, those measurements are recorded in a data collector and we're able to take those back and use in a software program. Do all of these tools talk to one another essentially? Yeah, so all of the data that we gather, we have the ability to uh, combine it so we can accurately recreate the crime or crash scene. Here with me is Officer Morgan from CHP Valley Mate. Officer Morgan, what do we have going on here? Uh, this is an investigator that is in a Tyvek suit and he is collecting DNA evidence from a vehicle. Uh, for including in our report and preservation for further review. My name is Sergeant Julie Sloan. I am the program supervisor for MATE. Today we're out here at the academy working through some exercises with our reconstruction class. They're going to be measuring some tire friction marks and some various scenes that we have laid down for them so they can learn a little bit about what to look for in the field. We were looking for a critical speed scuff, so EVAC was told to come out here and make a, a pretty sharp turn without any braking, simulating what a, a driver would do if they were taking a turn a little bit too hot. So that our teams could come out here and take measurements looking for certain kinds of tire friction marks and indications in those marks. And we have some equations that they're going to plug some numbers into and they'll be able to calculate how fast that EVOC driver was driving when he laid down this mark. So we slid this car down, uh, simulating like we had hit a pedestrian in the crosswalk here. So they're going to take some measurements from the tire friction marks, get some distances and figure out how fast that car was going when it hit the pedestrian and how fast it was going back there when it started braking. These days there's not much you can hide uh, in a crash. These cars are recording a lot of information. We can tell if lights were on or if there was a steering input, uh, if the throttle uh, was being pressed, the, the brake. Some of these vehicles have cameras all the way around it and they tell the whole story as well. And we just use our evidence that we get from the scene and piece all of that together with the data that's coming from the cars and it tells the whole story. So for this exercise, we've taken this car and we've slid it over multiple types of surfaces. 
what we're looking for is for them to be able to get the calculations using the different drag factors. So they're gonna get measurements for each distance over each surface and then take it back to the classroom, put it all together and figure out the speed of when it started breaking. I'm with Officer Kaysinger from CHP Mate. Tell me, what's going on behind us? Today, Mate is conducting a forensic mechanical inspection on this vehicle that was involved in the crash as part of our casework. These inspections are usually conducted by a motor carrier specialist one, and there's one MCS one assigned to every team across the state in each division. Today, Robert is uh, currently documenting the different systems that are part of the vehicle. These systems include the powertrain system, which is the engine all the way through the drive line to the hub of the axles, brakes, tires, and wheels. It includes fluids underneath the hood. It includes the throttle system, all of the braking system, including the interior of the vehicle, which includes restraint systems, supplemental restraint systems, even light switches and ignition. What is the importance of evaluating the interior system, such as the safety restraint system? Uh, we want to evaluate whether or not uh, there was any deficiency that may have contributed to injury or death. Uh, with the supplemental restraint systems like the airbags and pretensioners and seat belts. But we have further equipment to evaluate the actual module that commands that system to deploy. So Mate's very thorough in these investigations. Yes, and that's why multidisciplinary is part of our name or our acronym uh, is because we are looking at an incident over multiple facets and factors and using multiple disciplines to an analyze the event. So we saw the different types of equipment that Mate uses out at the active scene, as well as some of the follow-up back at the tow yard. Sergeant Sloan, what does Mate do with all of that information? Now that was actually just a small part of what goes into Mate investigations. Well, the investigators and the associates do the bulk of their work back here at the office. Uh, every case is gonna be assigned by a team leader to a, a lead investigator. But the majority of the work done most of the time is done by multiple individuals, if not the entire team. So what are these officers doing now? Well, Officer Yu here is using 3D point clouds and some photos of damaged vehicles to do a, a damage assessment. He may be looking for match points between the vehicles to see how they interacted with one another, possibly supporting speeds that get determined or direction of travel, signs of braking, that kind of thing. Uh, he could also end up analyzing the interior of the vehicle to determine how certain injuries on occupants um, occurred or maybe even support where each of them were seated. So Officer Ainsworth is working on some photogrammetry and diagramming the evidence locations that were collected from the scene. He may extract some of the measurements to use in various calculations to help determine how the vehicles moved across the roadway relative to the others or even their speeds. What is Officer Kaysinger working on here? Well, he's using some of the evidence collected from the vehicle's event data recorders and the orthomosaic file the drone captured to run through crash simulation software. This helps us not only to create a demonstrative for the parties of interest or court, but it can also help us support our conclusions. Most vehicles today are recording a lot of information, but in order for that information to be applied and included in our reports, it has to be vetted to ensure it's accurate and applicable in the case. So it's imperative we analyze every aspect without bias and ensure our experts are factually determining every causation factor. Everyday road patrol officers are doing crash reports. I have an example of a major injury crash report here. Can you tell me what a mate report and show me what a mate report looks like? It sounds like a lot of information goes into this. Yeah, they can be uh, over a thousand pages long. So there's a lot of information, but it really depends on the scope of the investigation from the requester. Since we're just assisting allied agencies and CHP area offices, it's really dependent upon their request. But regardless, uh, just like a scientific paper in a, a journal is reviewed by peers, we do the same thing. Our entire team, sometimes multiple teams, will review our reports to ensure that all the information has been vetted and it's uh, based in scientific fact from our findings. This helps us present our case as an unbiased and thorough presentation when it goes to the parties of interest or even to court. Do mate members get called to court for these cases? Absolutely, not always, but often. 
Uh, MAID investigators are then uh, qualified by the court as expert witnesses because a lot of times these cases that we're um, tasked with are, have very serious allegations attached to them or even lawsuits. The opposition sometimes will get experts, whether it's a hired reconstructionist or other types of experts, and they'll call them in to support their case. Mm -hmm. And MADE investigators will be called upon to refute uh, any information that they're presenting on that case that is um, erroneous or uh, inaccurate or unfounded or something like that, so that uh, you know the pursuit of justice is sought. Today you got to see just a glimpse of what CHP MATE does. To learn more, check us out at jointhechp1000.com. See you next time.